Ahoy, future navigators! Welcome to rule number three, and yes, you're doing brilliantly so far. You're sailing through these lessons like a seasoned pro. This one is critical. Rule three gives us the official definitions of terms that'll pop up over and over again in the rules ahead. If you don't fully understand these, the rest won't make much sense. So grab a fresh page in your notebook and let's break it all down clearly. Rule three, A. The definition of a vessel. The word vessel includes every description of watercraft, including non-displacement craft and seaplanes, used or capable of being used as a means of transportation on water. This includes ships, boats, jet skis, even seaplanes. If it can be used for transport on water, it's officially a vessel. Simple as that. Rule 3b. Definition of a power-driven vessel. Any vessel propelled by machinery. Straightforward, right? If it's moving by engine, it's a power-driven vessel. But remember, even a sailboat becomes a power-driven vessel when that engine kicks in. Rule 3c. Definition of a sailing vessel is any vessel under sail, provided that any fitted engine is not being used. Rule 3D. Definition of a vessel engaged in fishing. Any vessel using gear like nets or trawls that restrict maneuverability doesn't include trolling lines. Rule 3E. Definition of a seaplane. Any aircraft designed to maneuver on the water. Rule 3F. Definition of vessel not under command. A vessel that, due to exceptional circumstances, cannot maneuver as required by the rules. This doesn't mean no one's at the wheel, it means the ship can't respond properly due to breakdowns, steering failure, or loss of propulsion. Rule 3. G Definition of vessel restricted in her ability to maneuver. Due to the nature of her work, the vessel can't follow the usual rules. Think dredging laying cable, transferring cargo at sea, or even recovering aircraft. These ships can't move freely because of what they're doing. That's the key difference. Rule 3H. Definition of vessel constrained by her draft. A power-driven vessel that can't deviate from her course due to limited depth or width of water. This is all about depth. If a ship has, say, a 10-foot draft and the water outside a dredge channel is too shallow, she can't just veer off. It's not safe. Ever cruised out of Miami? That deep water channel is exactly what allows those big ships to get out safely without grounding. Rule 3. I. Definition of a vessel underway. A vessel underway is a vessel that is not at anchor, moored, or aground. Don't confuse this with making way. A ship drifting with the current, not anchored, is underway. But if it's using the engine to move forward, that's making way. Rule 3J. Definition of length and breadth. Length overall and greatest breadth. Easy one. Length is bow to stern. Breadth is beam at its widest. Rule 3K. Definition of in sight of one another. When one can be seen visually from the other, if you can see another vessel with your eyes, not on radar, you're in sight. Electronics don't count here. Rule 3L. Definition of restricted visibility. Fog, mist, snow, heavy rain, or anything that limits what you can see. This is a big one. Even daytime rain in Florida can drop visibility to zero. We'll dive into the special rules for this later, but just know, it's taken very seriously. Rule 3M Definition of Wing and Ground Craft A craft that flies close to the surface using surface effect. These hover just above the water almost like flying boats. Rare? Yes. But they're included in the rules so know they exist.
Well done, crew. That's rule three completed, and it's a big one. These definitions are absolutely essential for everything that follows. So review your notes, quiz yourself, and stay sharp. See you in the next video where we dive into rule four and beyond. Until then, stay safe, stay smart, and keep sailing.